how to add this layout of the reinforcement in Tecla structure using the uh, connection number 90. Okay, so here you will notice that the uh, the top bar is 7, 732, 7 uh, dB32, and then the bottom bar is 7 D32. And then the sidebar are both three quantity, which is 19. Okay, and uh, the secondary bar or the second layer will be uh, 632 and 332, and then you have the two types of the stirrups. Okay, so this is how to do it. You go to Tecla Structure. Okay, from here, I can now type this number 90, wherein I use this uh, rebar in beam. So just double click on this, and then I'm going to use the default first, pick the part to reinforce, which is the beam, and then pick the first point and then the second point, and you will see that there is a reinforcement there okay now let's change the number of rebar here okay All right the first layer the top and bottom let me do the top and bottom first okay so in that case I can use the primary bottom bar and then the size is T let's say I'll, I'll just choose T32 because I don't have the DB1 at the moment so we can do that one later so just simply modify T32, then T32. That is the bottom bar. Okay? Now, um, the quantity is how much? 7. Yeah. Right? And then modify. So I have now the 7. Correct? Right. Now, in this option, in this option, you can see that this 7 can be for top and bottom. Then modify. So that one, I have the top and bottom 7. So meaning, I have this one already, the top and bottom. Okay, now, let's move on to the sidebar first, the sidebar. Okay, for the sidebar, by the way, this one, I can just simply put this one at the, uh, with the no bend first. Okay, later we can, we can do the bending. The moment at the moment I'm I'm going to show you the uh, the number of bars and the layout, okay? To to know how to uh, uh, to set it up from our component. Okay, so next is the primary top bar. Instead of using that one on the top bar, because I have already the top bar using the bottom bar. Since this one are same quantity, I can use both. Okay, so the primary top bar, instead of using this top bar, I will use that one on two sides. This, two sides. And how many number? Three, correct? Modify. So there you go. And then, again, remove the uh, bending at the moment. Modify. All right. So here, you can see that there are three. One, two, and three. Okay, so check the size. It's DB19. I don't know if I have the 19, but later on I can show you how to uh, add the 19 diameter. But at the moment, I will use the 20 diameter. That is the nearest to 19, right? So here, I'll choose the 20. Okay? And then modify. Okay, 20. And then here, number of bars. Let's see this one. Oh, okay, all right. Now I get it. So number of bars is three. Modify. So three, one, two, three. Forget about this uh, other color, huh? this one. Because uh, in this case, maybe I'll just go to the advance and then I'll change the color. Okay, the, the, the top bar Main bottom bar, I'll change this one to red. Okay, red. And then the uh, the top bar, I'll change this one to, uh, let's say, green. Modify. So now I have the sidebar. The top bar, I use that one as my sidebar. 
It doesn't matter whether uh, you use that one as the sidebar or that nav bar, as long as we follow this layout. Okay. So now the thing is, uh, the position of the sidebar is at the middle, right? So what I can do here is this. I can choose five and then delete the first and last so that I can have the three rebar. You get it? Mm -hmm. So meaning, if I choose this one, then that one will be five. But I choose do not create the first and last bar so that I have the three items there. So now, I have already the, the top bar, the top bar first layer, the bottom bar first layer, the two sidebar. Done. Next is the second layer of the top bar. Okay, let's move on to the model. So this time, I'm going to use the side left. Side left, even though it's left for the side, then I can still use that one on my second layer on the top. Okay? So side left, what is the tick, what is the uh, diameter? 32, right? And then here, I'll choose this one. And then number of rebars again. Or number of rebars. This one is 6. Get it? And this time, instead of on the side, I'll choose this one on the top. Okay, on the top. But if I modify this one, okay, let's say I'm going to choose color number uh, for the side left. I'll choose color, uh, let's say, four. Modify so, so that I can identify that that one is. So look, but it merged on the first layer. I want to put that one on the, as the second layer. So where is the... Uh, um, option to position our uh, second layer so here i can specify let's say let's say 100 modify there you go okay so go back again to this uh, drawing the next one is the uh, bottom second layer wherein i can use the side right okay so bottom here i'll choose number four again and then side right 32 and then this one bottom layer and then here again i'll put 100 and then how many three three modify again Choose this and modify. Is that the correct one? Okay. Select object in component and then select this one. Double click. So here, instead of number, exact spacing, I'll type here 2 times 114.67 space 229.33 space 2 times 114.67. Modify. And there you go. Okay? So at least we get that one. But you do that one later once you finish everything using the component. Okay? Because once we modify this one, again, it will go back to the original form. Okay? So at least you know how to handle that one. All right. So, uh, okay, kindly redraw that one. And then let's move on with our links. So for the links, again... Using this, I have the first link is how much? Is uh, 13, okay, into 100. So, meaning from here, I'll go to the first uh, stirrups. So here, let's see if I have 13. I, I don't have 13, then uh, I'll use the 12 for the meantime. And then um, the spacing is... Uh, 100 100 okay and then modify oh sorry select this one and then modify 
okay so that one is 100 100 modify but i need to i need to uh change that one later okay so 100 but again the bending here must be what 135 here you have a 135 bending okay so i'll just follow that one go to the stir up again and then let's see Ah, okay. So that one will be here. 135, 135, and then modify. So that one will be my steer up. Okay? So if you want to have the the uh, bend length here, let's say 50, 50, modify. So you can control the length of the bend. Okay? So if you're okay with that one, that is the steer up, then you go to the next the stir up number two stir up number two so for the stir up number two again i'll just put here uh 12 okay and then this one is 135 135 again let's say this one is 50 50 all right and this time i'll just adjust here from this so that one is, uh, what, what is that one? 229, right? 229, or whatever the, the nearest value for the 229. So what I will do here is, let's say, uh, 200, 200. Select and then modify. No stirrups, create stirrups. Okay, so meaning you still need more. You can measure, but uh, at the moment I'm I'm just doing a uh, something like a uh, uh, a trial and error. But you can measure the the distance if you like. Okay, so let's say this one is two forty, additional ten millimeter. Okay, so approximately that is the position of your second steel up. Okay, is it, is it clear? Right, so now uh, as you notice this uh, connection number 90 for the rebar is a, is a quite a, a good component to, to serve in this situation to add the reinforcement on the, on the beam. Because you have the control for the top bar, bottom bar, side bar, and you can see as a, as I've shown you, you have all those options for the uh, for the spacing of the stirrups. Again, you can just simply uh, because you mentioned that the stirrup is up to the side of the column, right? So means this one you need to calculate, of course. So what we're going to do is uh, uh, go to the uh, stirrups here stir up spacing and then instead of five let's say i'll put 10 10 modify so not not enough then let's say uh i'll just use here 13 13 and then modify so something like this all right and then yeah That one is good. And then you go back to the uh, stirrups to spacing. So this one is 14 into 100, right? So same. And then this one is how much? 1.5. Modify. And there you go. You can, you can just remove that one later. So if you want the bending for, uh, for this main bar, here, just simply bend it here, bend and then modify, and there you go. If you want to extend the the, the link, the, no, the bar. Uh, what do you mean extend the bar? This one you extend the link from the custom. Ah, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this is the uh, this is the 
uh, the option to extend the bar. Let's say if I want here 1,000, 1,000, modify, so that one will be extended. If you don't want that one, then if you don't want to extend, then you put here as uh, negative uh, 25, negative 25, so that one will be inside the concrete, like this. Okay, so you have all the option there. And then, let me save this one, uh, RBI. Okay. If in case that, uh, okay, let's see, I'll delete this one, and then I'll change my beam, I'll change my beam to, to be full, modify. And then uh, this one is how much? One, two, right? And then in case that, uh, I think that one may work. So I'm going to uh, do the polygon cut. So pick this one. One, two, three, four. So I do the cutting, right? So now, if I add using the rebar and beam, so pick one and then two. Ah, yes, that one works. That one works. Why? This one. Immediately on top. Yes, because I use this one. So look, let let me just uh, remove the primary top bar. Uh, where is that one? Side left, right? Side left. This one is what? 100 earlier. Modify. Okay, 100. And then the stir up is 25. 25. And then the stir up 2 is 25. 25. Okay, yeah. That is another option. So See? it's easier if we pull the beam full length and then we just cut. Cut. The beam. And this is the option. So now look. If I. If I go back to my primary and then use this one, so the reinforcement will be inside the cut. Okay? Because here, this one, if I click on this one, the reinforcement is inside the cut. Right? So this one is the, the option, okay? In case that uh, we want to have the expose, then you model the beam in a different, differently. Or different way you need to do the cutting and use this option this one so that the uh, rebar will be exposed on the beam for your screening mm -hmm. okay so this is how uh, how you use the uh, rebar in beam 90 in details